Hello and welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner. Thank you for joining me on this endless quest to find magic tricks that we will actually learn and use to entertain other people with rather than just sit at home and bore the hell out of members of our own family before we just consign it to the drawer of the shelf. Uh, this week we're going to be reviewing James Anthony's Out of the Blue. So before we carry on, please like and subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell so you get the notifications and go and check out cardmagiccourse.com. This is my ever growing online card magic resource. I've just finished recording a whole course called How to Practice, which is the theory and research around practice and optimizing your practice time. So check that out, but let's get on with the review. So I'll explain the effect, but you'll, you'll get the idea. You get two half packs one is red backed one is blue backed uh, you show them both to be normal you give someone the blue backed deck and say hold on to that a minute then you spread the cards for the other person they touch a card you show it to them they remember it you close the deck and then immediately you open a deck to show them that their card has now vanished you turn to the other person and say go through the cards face down they find one red backed card in a blue backed deck that is the chosen card of that person over there. They can look at the other cards in their hand and they are all completely normal. So first of all, this is a strong effect. It is, you're not buying an effect that claims to be great and you get it back and it's a bit weak. Um, now James in the instructional video talks about how he gets these amazing responses. Now I've no doubt they're genuine. I didn't get quite the same responses, but then I didn't do them in a professional setting. I was doing them in the daytime, in a kind of sterile setting, uh, and I hadn't worked the thing in. You know, my, my videos of the performances are always unworked in first time I did it. Uh, so I've no doubt it gets those responses. It is, it does follow that kind of invisible deck kind of tradition where it is a very strong effect with a deck of cards uh, and it is more examinable than the invisible deck will go into this. Uh, it's also easy, right? It's an easy trick. It doesn't take much sleight of hand, but saying that I am, <laughs> I've got a thing. So I'm a bit of a move monkey. I like sleight of hand that I can control. So I'm happy doing loads of palms and well not happy, sometimes I get a bit iffy about it, but you know what I mean? I can kind of control what's going on. And it's almost like the easier the trick is, the more I mess it up on the first go. So the first two times I did this trick, and I'm not going to show you that bit, uh, but, it, but I, I kind of flashed the thing you're not allowed to flash. And it's not that it's difficult to do that, but I suppose you don't take it for granted. Yes, it's easy. Uh, James says you'll be able to do it in seconds. I'd say you, you have to kind of play with it a bit and just get the feel of the one little slight-ish thing that you have to do, which is kind of a pushover thing. Um, you're all going to be able to do it, but just, just keep that in mind. It's easy, but it's not like bang, self-working, you're not going to have to think about it. Uh, another thing I like about it is that it plays wide. So it's one of these tricks where somebody does something over here, somebody else does something over here, and it kind of plays bigger, and I like that dynamic. I like the, the kind of the, the width of the trick, and if you work stage, you'll know exactly what I mean. It isn't all happening here, like when you're just showing one card in a deck and it all happens in the deck. It's like, because it's two decks, right? Um, the, the instructional video is really good. James is, has a very clear manner. He goes into detail about how to do this, so it's not one of those ones where you're going to, you know, you're going to watch it and go, hey, yeah, hang on, go back. I don't really know what you're saying there. He, he, he goes through everything. And he also goes through other uses of the deck. It's a really good force deck because of the way it works. You can force a card with it and be pretty, you know, 100% sure you're going to get that card. Again, um, if, you're a, if you're a geek like me, you don't really need that. But for those of you starting out or those of you that like that freedom and like that, you know, especially if you're working on stage, it's definitely going to work. You can use it in that way. And he's got an any card at any number, what he calls it any card at any number. Now, um, it isn't really any card at any number because that implies that you can name any card and it'll be at any number, but it is a certain card at any number that you say. So it's, it's a really cool thing, a nice addition. And he does also have this thing that he talks about, a little bonus at the end, which I think is actually quite powerful. And you can use it on stage as a kind of dual reality thing where the audience is in on the joke, but the person on stage isn't. And I think actually there's a lot in that. So again, if you're looking for parlor and different, you know, don't skip that bit. Go to the end, right at the end of the video. The, the instructional video runs nearly an hour. So if you don't want to watch all of it and you've got the trick sauce, go to the end uh, and you'll see that little bonus bit and it's, it's well worth a look. Uh, what I really like about it is this in the hands thing. Now, it's clever because yes, it's a gaff deck, but at the end of the trick, it isn't. And what I mean by that is that yes, when they're choosing the card, the card vanishes, that bit, they can't take the deck and have a look at it. But it finishes off, the trick finishes off in someone's hand where they're taking it. And, and the finale is this thing, right? That's the, the main effect. So you've got this sort of triple effect thing. Um, but that bit, that, that blue back deck is completely examinable. 
And the great thing about this is when that happens, nobody's interested in the red deck. I've not once had somebody want to look through that, you know, because that's happened and they're looking at all, they're looking at those cards and trying to suss that out. So that's really nice. So it finishes in the hands and it feels open. It feels examinable, even though some of it isn't. And that's a really clever bit of this trick. And it's a very easy reset, which is always quite handy. If you're going to do a trick, you know, that is a, a gaff deck trick, you want to be able to reset it really quickly. Challenge-wise, there's no negatives with this. You know, when James performs it, that is what it is. There's nothing covered up. When you see the trailer, you know, it is that effect. And it's a very strong effect. There's no doubt about that. It's not the most versatile trick in the world or deck in the world. It doesn't do that much more other than what I've gone into. And for me, it's maybe a little bit on the pricey end for what you get. It's £26. It's on pre-order at the moment. By the time you watch this, it'll probably be out on Magic World which is James's, James's shop. But £26 to me felt like a little bit, I'd, I'd have been more comfortable, a bit lower. Uh, but saying that, there's a lot of tricks out about 100 quid that I wouldn't be happy paying a tenner for. So it's a minor gripe. So you're going to get a strong trick. You're going to get a trick that's doable. It plays quite wide and people are going to like it and it's going to get strong reactions. So there it is. Thank you again for watching. Those of you that are regulars will notice this is a lot shorter than most of them. A lot of my reviews can go on for a long time. The last one was nearly 20 minutes and I understand that's a bit of a commitment. But do let me know your thoughts in the comments. You know, if you want them to be longer, let me know if you're happy with the length, if you want them to be shorter, or I'll probably mix it up a little bit. I'll do some longer ones and short ones and see how it goes. But uh, thank you for your, for your comments and your support. Do, like I said, check out the Card Magic course, check out a new course and, uh, and like and subscribe. That'll be great. Thanks very much and have a great week.